on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Welcome back. Brandon Grimes here, Consumer Quarterback Show. we got Ryan Seffel in the house, Hudson's Furniture and Mattress, uh, coming up here in just a minute. Uh, before we do, uh, we've got a hot listing here. I want to let you know about uh, property in beautiful Tampa Bay. Uh, this one is... Uh, 2156 Masters Court in Dunedin. Uh, this is a beautiful property that we have in Dunedin. It's close to uh, golf courses, close to Honeymoon Island. Great, great, uh, you know, opportunity here as far as investment. Uh, you have three bedroom, three bath, 2020 square foot condo, beautifully remodeled, completely remodeled end condo unit, two primary suites. Uh, you have an eat-in space as well, screened in porch access, plenty of parking, only seven minutes to downtown Dunedin, five minutes to Honeymoon Island. Great opportunity. You're close to the Pinellas Trail as well, the beautiful Pinellas Trail, biking trail, jogging trail. And you can see all of our listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. All right, here we go. Our feel good story of the day. Every day we tell you something positive here on the show. We got a random act of kindness. So, this is interesting. A stranger on an airplane uh, crochets a beanie for a baby, uh, mesmerized by the yarn in motion across the aisle. So, kind of reminds me of the beanie babies, too, when you think about that. Kelly and Jake were nervous about taking their five month old daughter on an airplane. Uh, flying from New York, uh, New Jersey to Mexico isn't a short haul, and they weren't sure what to expect. And I've been there before. <laughs> On a plane with a baby so that's uh you know it's not a lot of fun in some cases uh but but it was on the flight home that was the uh, the unexpected arose when the little uh Romy was f- calmly fascinated by the woman across the aisle who was crocheting the baby found awe in the crocheter's quickly moving hands uh the crocheter megan Ruben noticed the baby watching her and also realized the yarn uh, she was using for the project unmatched uh, matched the little girl's outfit. Uh, with an hour left on the flight, she decided to make a beanie for Romy and surprised the family with the hat once they landed. And there's a quote here uh, from the mother saying, I've never seen someone work so fast in my life. I had no idea what it was that it was for us. What a cool way just to do something nice for a stranger and in turn light up everyone else's day. Uh, there you have it. Our feel good story of the day. We always like those positive stories on the consumer quarterback show. All right, let's welcome in Ryan. Welcome in Ryan Steffel. Oh, thank you so much. I am so grateful to be here. My pleasure, um, man. Thanks for so, coming. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about some of these, these, uh, consumer advocate tips that we have today for, uh, Hudson's furniture and mattress. So one of the things I want to talk about today, Brandon is mattresses. So for a lot of consumers, mattress buying can be a very, very difficult proposition. 70% of adults report, yeah, poor sleep Okay. every day. And with poor sleep, you're going to have some issues. Poor sleep reduces your immune ability. Yep. It's going to reduce your athletic performance linked to higher body weight, greater risk of heart disease and stroke, type 2 diabetes, and depression. So, mattress shopping, yeah, it can be an important feature for a lot of folks. So, one of the things that um, we like to share with people is that 62% of American households report a hot sleeper. You know what a hot sleeper is? No, I don't, but I, okay. I think I know where where it's going. So kind of sweats in the night, night yeah, sweats. Absolutely. You ever toss and turn? You want to find that cool side of the pillow? You yeah. Find the cool side of the bed. Well, a good mattress can help take care of that. Um, the other thing is, you ever felt like uh, pressure on your shoulders, on your hips, mm-hmm. any of those kind of things? A good mattress can help support that as well. Um, Sleep partners, you ever move in and out of bed? Mm -hmm. When your partner does not have that good support and there's a lot of motion, that's going to wake you up as well. So one of the things we try to do is help glorious, transformative, life-changing sleep. Okay. Mm. With a good sleep system, you're going to be healthier, happier. You're going to look better. I can tell you, my wife, Erin, she has told me that since we have accomplished our new sleep system, I'm a trophy husband. Got a t-shirt to prove it. There you go. <laughs> I like it. You got the, tro- you got the trophy husband uh, got shirt the trophy on. Trophy hopes and husband I like shirt. It. 
Yep. I like it. Absolutely. That's cool. Trophy yeah, husband. Yeah, there trophy it is. Husband. Yep. <laughs> 30% of people report getting six hours or less of sleep per night. That's an interesting stat right here on the flyer. Yeah. And the other thing is that we spend as a consumer over $41 billion a year in sleep aids, anything to help us sleep, anything to keep us awake. Wow. We spend $15 billion on energy drinks. Whew. And a lot of that has to do with the quality of sleep that we get every single night and you're pumping your adrenal gland there when you drink those energy drinks you know some of those i don't want to say certain names but you know when you're when you're bringing that stuff into your body the some of them have had the old like ephedra and there's these high boosted caffeine you're banging your adrenal gland it's not good on your body but 15 billion that's an astonishing number ryan yeah absolutely so when you don't get good sleep you're going to increase your risk of high blood pressure um things like depression irritability anxiety Sleep deprivation can also cause a lot of other additional issues as well. So if you have not gone and bought yourself a new mattress in a while, eh, maybe something to consider. Most folks keep their mattresses 10, 15 plus years. And, you know, if you look at the quality of sleep that you're getting as part of your overall health, it's a good idea, eight to ten years, to take a look at your mattress. Yeah, and February is the mattress month. Yeah, absolutely. So most manufacturers for mattresses um, have their best sales going on in February. Nice. I like it. How do you want people to connect with you? Uh, so you can connect with me at uh, Hudson'sFurniture.com. You can also see me down in St. Pete in Pinellas Park at Hudson's Furniture. Or you can also look me up at Ryan Furniture. Okay. And you can also call the hotline, too, if you'd like to get in touch. 727-263-3707. Uh, call the show hotline. We'll put you in touch with Ryan. 727-263-3707. Call or text. That's an all-fair number. And, Ryan, thanks so much for coming in. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, my pleasure. Hey, another great show. I want to thank all of our expert contributors, our producers behind the scenes, and of course you, our audience, our listeners, our valued uh, friends of the program out there. Please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Do something kind for one another and be a force for good in the community. We'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's...